This is the new Pentax K01, new 16 megapixel from Pentax designed in conjunction with designer Mark Newsom. And it's certainly gonna stand out from the crowd. It's available in three colors in Europe. That's black and yellow, like the one I've got here. There's also gonna be a black and silver version and what's called a black and black version. There is also a black and white model. However, that's currently going to be available only in Japan. Now, Japan has seen a number of brightly colored Pentax cameras before, but this is the first time that Pentax has ever launched something like this in the UK. But it's not just the color that makes it stand out. It's also a very bulky model. However, that bulk is really on the camera body and not in the lens. This 40 millimeter lens that's attached is what Pentax describes as the world's thinnest detachable lens. So to release the lens, you just press this button here, which is nice and flushly designed into the camera body and give it a twist like so. As you can see, that's very thin. And there's the 16 megapixel CMOS sensor there inside. Now this camera is going to launch around March for about 680 pounds with this 40 millimeter lens. However, there are going to be other kits available. There's going to be a twin lens kit and a single lens kit option. And Pentax says that those will be from 18 to 55 millimeters and 50 millimeters to 200. Now the camera offers a number of manual controls. You've got full manual, manual mode, your shutter speed priority, aperture priority, and your program mode. You've also got movie mode as well. There's also this red button here, which is a dedicated quick access to movie recording. This camera is able to shoot video at 1080p resolution. And then there's your automatic mode and a number of scene modes. Also on the mode dial here is the HDR or high dynamic range. Now what that is, is uh, it gives the photographer the ability to shoot shots that both have highlights, so brightly lit areas, and low lights, so shadows, but it picks up the detail in both. The way it does this is by taking a series of photographs at a number of different exposures and then seamlessly stitching them together. There's also manual focus here, the switch is just here, and the focus ring is on the barrel of the lens. Uh, just here, there's a microphone input and you're able to control the audio levels uh, manually while recording video. On the other side here, you've got a chamber for the SD memory card. There's also an HDMI out, so you can connect it up to a high definition piece of equipment such as a HD TV. And on the bottom just here, there's your battery chamber. It's got a three inch LCD on the rear, but there isn't a viewfinder. So that's gonna disappoint some users. What you do have on the top of the camera, however, is a hot shoe mount, so you can attach a number of accessories. And you've also got this pop-up flash just here, if you don't want to have an external flash or even invest in an external flash. Now the K01 is capable of shooting in RAW, so that's the uncompressed format of a photography file, and it will allow you to manipulate the settings once you've taken the shot. Now having this K in the name indicates that this is a K mount for lenses on the front, which means that it's capable of working with any Pentax K lens dating back to 1975. And Pentax says there are more than 200 of those lenses out there, so there are a number of lenses available. So that's the Pentax K01 camera. As I said, it should be available around March when we'll be buying one and putting it through its paces in our labs to see how it compares against other cameras with interchangeable lenses, including micro system cameras and digital SLRs. For more information on this model and for full lab-based reviews of hundreds of digital cameras, go to our website at which.co.uk.